Over the years, the cereal grains have been an important source of nutrients for the poultry uh, industry. But due to the presence of the anti-nutritive compounds in these cereal grains, uh, these uh, have accounted uh, to poor nutritive values and digestibility of these cereal grains when fed to, uh, to the poultry birds. Uh, various ways have been found uh, to eliminate these anti-nutritive compounds so that we can be able to expose the nutrients in the, f in the, in the cereal grains to our buds. One of the ways of uh, doing this is uh, through germination, through uh, sprouting the cereal grains. That is why in today's video we are going to talk about uh, feeding uh, sprouted grains to the broiler buds. At the end of this video, you're going to, to know the benefits of feeding the sprouted grains uh, to your broilers and you're going to know how to prepare these sprouted grains and finally you're going to know the amount which you're going to feed uh, the sprouted grains to your broiler buds. Subscribe and hit the like button now. Germination uh, helps uh, in two things. One is it helps to eliminate the, these anti-nutritive components. For example, the tannins, the lectins, saponins, and, and fibers, uh, which are inhibitors that usually lead uh, to binding. They usually bind the nutrients which are found in grains and they, uh, they make them unavailable for the birds. But an, uh, another thing that germination does is that it increases the level of the minerals, the proteins, vitamins and carbohydrates in these grains. This means that uh, germination helps to expose these uh, nutrients to be, uh, so that they can be available uh, to, for utilization by the broiler buds. Now let's look at uh, some of the benefits of feeding the sprouted grains to our broilers. The first benefit is that uh, it improves digestion and absorption due to improved intestinal ecology and microbial balance. This uh, means that uh, the pH will be in the correct range and hence the enzymes will be able to digest uh, the feed properly, hence good absorption. And another benefit is that it increases nutrient utilization due to elimination of this anti nutritional components for example the the fibers and the tannins another benefit is that it increases the growth rate of course uh, if you look at the first three benefits that is the, uh, the improved digestion increased nutrient utilization and the increased feed conversion ratio this will accumulate to increased growth rate another benefit is that it has anti antioxidation properties this means that it reduces the action of the free ra radicals and reactive oxygen oxygen in the bodies of this of our broilers and this will lead to a decreased inflammation uh, which can cause stress and stress will lead to poor production and uh, another, another benefit is that it increases the immunity against diseases for example the coccidiosis and Newcastle this uh, helps in lowering the mortality uh, in our flock now let's discuss about uh, how to prepare these sprouted grains for our broiler birds the first step is that uh, you are going to put your grains in a large bowl. Uh, this means, uh, or, or you can use another container depending on the size of your flock. Then you are going to cover the grains with fresh water and soak overnight or uh, soak for a maximum of 24 hours. The second step is that you are going to create holes in the chosen container that, uh, that are small enough uh, that the grains doesn't fall through them. Uh, at the end of the soaking, that is after the 24 hours, you are going to drain the grains well and spread them on the chosen container. That is the one that uh, you had uh, you had made holes on. Then you are going to place the container over a second, uh, slightly larger container to allow water to drain off the grains fully. This means that uh, this container of yours that contains the seeds and the, it has holes on it, uh, you are going to put it in a place where the water can drain uh, draw, uh, drain from uh, from the grains. Uh, the sprouts uh, should be watered and then drained fully twice each day for six days. Uh, by day six, uh, the sprouted grains are ready to be fed to your flock. Uh, something you should take uh, you should take caution on is that you must uh, avoid grains that are, uh, that have uh, molds. Uh, you must avoid grains that feel slimy, and also you should avoid grains that uh, that are smelly. That if you see uh, uh, the molds or they feel slimy or smelly, then you know that they have been contaminated, and you are not you cannot feed this to your broiler birds. 
Now, the amount of the uh, sprouted greens that you're going to, you know, supplement uh, to your broilers is uh, the 15 grams per bud. So if you have 100 birds, then you're going to, uh, you're going to include uh, 1.5 kgs of sprouted greens uh, as the supplement for your broilers. Also, you can the sprouted greens can be greened up uh, to provide fresh pasture for the chickens. That is, uh, after these six days, uh, the sprouts can be put on, uh, can be exposed to sunlight, and this will uh, lead to the greening, which uh, now you can feed uh, the breeders as a fresh pasture. Talking of organic uh, feeding of breeder birds, make sure you uh, hit the video on your screen right now so that you can be able to know how the tomato powder can boost growth in your broiler chickens.